If the topic for this year's lectures was simply church and state, it might well have been seen as so broad as to be pointless and maybe even divisive in a society that seems to have pretty much made up its mind that the two should be kept separate. But the subtitle to this series, which I hope you read, puts a slightly different slant on the topic, exploring views on the relevance of faith to politics. Those who claim no evidence and no relevance have missed centuries of history demonstrating that for many people, faith has been foundational to the values that shape their identity, their life, their priorities and their actions. While we can point to negative examples of faith in action, the actions of many individuals motivated at times by deep religious convictions have overturned injustices, shaped governments, created legal and judicial systems and led to many of the public institutions that seek to offer support to the disadvantaged and the oppressed. So does faith have relevance to, to politics in the 21st century? This is the key question we're exploring. This series of four public lectures is designed to open up discussion on the topic. It's been framed by a Christian organisation and that's what New College is. Um, and so it's not surprising we've chosen four speakers, three speakers giving four talks uh, that have Christian faith. That's not to suggest that people who hold other faith positions might not also claim that their faith and values inform their politics. Indeed, much of what will be said tonight will, I'm sure, have great relevance to people of non-Christian faiths and also for people who don't claim to have any faith at all. It's heartening to see such large numbers tonight, not because that, that's, that this is the way we measure our success, but because it suggests to me and to the other trustees that somehow we managed to come up with a topic that's of interest, and I, I believe we chose speakers who also are of great interest to those who are in attendance tonight. The format is fairly straightforward. There'll be two talks from our guests, uh, followed by question time, where we genuinely want some good questions and some dialogue, and there'll be two microphones used. And then, hopefully about nine o'clock, there'll be coffee and tea out in the foyer for those that want to stay around and talk a little bit more.